everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and in this video, I'm going to talk about um, uh, multiple things, right? So in previous video, we have discussed about cloud front distribution with load balancer. But here, I'm going to use an S3 bucket to host my static content. So then I'm going to use cloud front distribution. Then I'm going to apply some uh, uh, SSL certificates. So then after I'm going to uh, map uh, a domain name to my cloud front distribution to access an application end to end. So again, this cloud front distribution also help us to deliver the static content. Also, this S3 has a feature called static website hosting. So if you uh, want to go through this S3 masterclass, I already made a video on this S3 service, right? It's a two hours lengthy one. So you spare some time and go through that. So first, right, I have a domain name. The domain name is learnaws.co.in. Currently, it is not delivering anything. Okay, so I'm going to use this domain name to deliver my um, static website. So for that, as a first thing, whatever domain name you purchased, your S3 bucket name and your domain name should be same. So first, I have created an S3 bucket. This is a brand new S3 bucket. I don't have any data, no settings, nothing. Okay, so now whatever the web page you want to deliver via CloudFront distribution, or whatever directly, if you want to use this S3 bucket to host a static website, first upload all your content to this S3 bucket. Now click on upload. So currently, right, as either these are the two web pages. Let me do one thing. Let me um, rename this. So basically, the standard name, of course, we can have this name and we can continue. The standard name is index.html. I'm going to use that. So what exactly this is, let me show you this, even I'll rename here also, index.html. So I'm going to open with Chrome. So this is a very simple web page, right? Whenever you click on this link tree, it is going to take you uh, through my all uh, like, you know, uh, profile links. You go there, you click and you verify. And the second one is, it's just a simple uh, cool graphics page. Right, so there is a small um, background logo and a cool graphics that is uh, rotating in the website. All right, so this content I want to host in S3 and I want to deliver with the help of CloudFront distribution. All right, so first of all, I have copied the data to my S3 bucket. So now, right, let's go to uh, CloudFront distribution. But before CloudFront distribution, creation as i told you i want to map my domain name right so uh, again so it's always recommended to redirect http uh, traffic to https so for that we need to apply some ssl certificate so let's go to a service called acm certificate manager right so the cloud front distribution service is a, a regional service so whatever certificate you want to, you first uh, like, you know, uh, need to go to Northern Virginia. Again, just observe, I'm navigating to CloudFront. Okay, so this CloudFront doesn't require any region selection. So if you are creating any CloudFront, if you want to associate any uh, SSL certificate, you have to create that SSL certificate in Northern Virginia region. Otherwise, you cannot use that. So now, uh, again, I already have a domain name. I created a hosted zone. That process is also very simple. Click on create hosted zone. Whatever the domain name you have, you gave the domain name and I'm, we are going to use it public hosted zone create. Whenever we create this hosted zone, right, we are going to get two records automatically. One is NS record, second one is SOA record. So this one, I even not required. Right, so these two records comes defaultly. So if you host uh, uh, this, uh, I mean, sorry, wherever you purchase this domain name, in that location, we need to configure this name servers. Again, there is a playlist for route 53. Please follow that, the first video or second video. I'll also mention the that specific video link in this video description. 
how to update this name servers and domain registrar for your reference okay so now so this uh, root 53 hosted zone is ready so then i'm going to request a certificate request a public certificate my domain name is learn aws.co.in even if you want to give any wildcard and all you can give star dot so that's going to be a wildcard for our uh, fqdm so how you are going to prove ownership of this domain i'm going to use dns validation rsa2048 then request so now so now one request uh, created here that is another one let me delete that all right so now a request created that status is a pending validation so how we can uh, validate that we are the owner for this domain so here you observe create record in root 53 click on create records in root 53 select the hosted zone where you want to create the record so currently we have only two records i'm going to create record so now automatically in a minute or two one uh, SSL certificate will be issued for this learn aws.co.in and that is Amazon issued one. It won't take much time. Okay, it's already issued, so we are good. So our certificate is ready, our S3 bucket with some data is ready. So now the only part is create cloud front distribution. So go to cloud front distribution, create cloud front distribution, and origin domain. I'm going to use my S3 bucket. I'm using this learn aws.co.in and uh, instead of making my bucket public, I'm going to use origin access control setting. So only cloud front distribution will allow to access data from this S3 bucket. So create control settings, you give a name and create. All right, so now um, we are going to get a bucket policy. We need to update our bucket with that bucket policy. So then default caching, I want to redirect HTTP request to HTTPS. Caching, I'm going to enable caching optimized. So again, it's recommended for S3, but you know, whatever modified data, that modified data may reflect. So yeah, I'm going with this caching optimized. So then scroll down. I'm not going to enable security protection. I'm going to use all edge locations. And what C name you want to add item. learn aws.co.in is a C name and whatever the certificate SSL certificate we created I'm selecting the SSL certificate here and what is the default object you want to deliver uh, we already have this index.html in our s3 bucket right so I'm delivering this as a default object here in this cloud front so now scroll down create distribution so now we got the required bucket policy here Click on copy policy, go to the S3 bucket, navigate permissions. Okay, even you can keep this block all public access also. Okay, uh, that, yeah, let's do that. Okay, and go to bucket policy, edit and enter that bucket policy here, then save changes. All right, so now this from this bucket, the data like you know can be um, accessible by this cloud front distribution. Okay, so now this is deploying. This deployment may take a minute or two. So now um, let's go to our root 53 and map our domain name to this cloud front distribution. So for that, go to hosted zone, click on create hosted zone. So you want to map to directly domain name or you want to give any subdomain name like a CFT or a demo, something like that. You can even give that. Record type is A, A record. I'm going to enable alias and route traffic to cloud front distribution. Click here and choose a distribution you already have. Then click on create record. So that's it. Now our S3 data going to CloudFront distribution, CloudFront distribution using some domain name and uh, SSL certificate. And instead of this CloudFront given URL, we are using root 53 to map our domain name. 
So once this deployment is completed, we can verify. Right, it is still deploying. It, uh, so the CloudFront distribution is now deployed. You can verify the status here, the status, it is enabled, and even like, you know, last modified, you can observe here. So now, uh, if we go and if we try to access our domain name, okay, okay, it is redirecting to the certificate, SSL certificate. Let me open new tab, learn aws.co.in. You see, the website is loading uh, pretty quickly. So here, the website is loading pretty quickly. And also, if you want to click on cool graphic page, so you see here, this page also loading, and we are using this, learnaws.co.in uh, URL. Not only that, even if you want to test, you can use this CloudFront distribution URL, and you can get that here, so the same page is going to load. All right, so this is what uh, the CloudFront distribution URL. If you're taking same thing in diagrammatical manner, first we have taken an S3 bucket, we have not made the data public, that is important. So if you want to make any S3 bucket, uh, if, if you want to directly deliver something, starting website directly from S3 bucket, you need to um, make this S3 bucket public or data public. But I don't want to do that. So I have added a CloudFront distribution on top of that S3 bucket. Then I have used this Route 53. And also we have applied a SSL certificate here. Right, so whenever user is uh, giving, like, you know, observe this, I'm simply giving learn aws.co.in, it's automatically redirecting to HTTPS. Even if I'm giving HTTP also, it's redirecting to HTTPS. Why? Because that setting we configured it, uh, CloudFront um, uh, distribution, right? So here redirect uh, HTTP to HTTPS. So then we have mapped it to uh, domain name. So you can treat this as uh, one kind of project uh, okay that's it uh, for this video if you find this video informative and if you are looking for more videos on aws uh, please subscribe to this youtube channel and uh, please share um, uh, who is learning this aws thank you guys